Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a Hermit Craft. I hope you're doing good today. I'm doing very good myself. Thank you so much. Recovering at the moment from um, the Hermitcraft stream. That sounds sounds bad. Recovering. I don't mean it in a bad way. I'm just like I'm so stunned and amazed. We had a stream the other day, and the amount of <laughs> support, the amount of love from 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 the viewers, from you guys, was incredible. Okay, it was absolutely insane. Some people stayed and watched all the hermits, and some people popped in and out, and uh, just unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you from the from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much uh, to those of you who, who who joined in, and also for those of you who was with us in their in their heart, who had other things to do during the day. Really appreciated. Um, I am back at the Guardian Building. We did a little bit of work here, or block appraising, on the stream. Um, first of all, we took the decision on cyan stained clay. It won over the light blue, it won over orange, which was in the poll, and light grey. And I think, I gotta say, cyan is working really well. Another thing that we did was that I put up two fish a tanks over here. And we're gonna put guardians in these as well. So we're back at the stage where Impulse and Tango needs now to deliver... Um, Six fishes for us. It's gonna be so hard for them to to do, but you know. Oh, it's turning at night time! Look at the beautiful sky! If you want this texture pack, by the way, it should be available at escalate5.com. It was a very common, commonly asked question on the stream. Uh, one thing that happens here at night time is the light in the floor really pops. Specifically over here is what I've noticed. Um, yeah, look at that. Oh, baby, adding some atmosphere. Come on now. That's so gorgeous. That's really, really beautiful. Um, I, Minecraft, this game, I don't know. It does this, these things to me. <laughs> Sometimes it's just... Come on now. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous game. And I love it so much. Um, but anyway, welcome back, everybody. I hope that you're good. And uh, I want to show you something. In the last video... There was a suggestion from a person, or quite a few people, but there was one specifically saying we need to make the eye move here. Make it the, to do what Cleo does with her eye in her base, where it moves every now and then. Um, and I implemented that. That's why you hear that hopper or piston sound every now and then. Um, very, very simple redstone. Maybe I show you a real quick. I did this off camera after the episode was finished. I liked the idea. I was a little bit skeptical to what, to which... Um, or if we could fit it in a good way, but I think we did pretty good. Um, this looks more complicated than it is. It's very, very simple. The guy who who, who I saw the comment from uh, called this an, uh, an Etho clock here. <laughs> it's, it's, come on now, Etho. I love, I love Etho so much. He's been a great inspiration over the years, but this is a hopper clock. Come on now, it's two hoppers and, and a few. yeah. Let's, let's call it an ether clock if you want. Um, no, in all seriousness, no. I've got two hoppers facing each other, uh, compared to on either side, and this redstone block moving um, across, depending on where the which hopper is empty. So when this empties now, we're going to see this signal coming off, this hopper retracting, and we're going to see some stuff happening here. There we go. Uh, this redstone block is now powering this repeater, which is powering this line. This is a monostable circuit, thanks to Cupfan who installed this to make this work better than I did. Um, and <clears throat> that pulsated this piston real quick, which pushed the blocks this way, the top line here, including the eye, right? And then once it comes back, um, it's going to go back and then it's going to wait again next time it comes around. Uh, no, sorry, once it goes back now, this thing is going to be unpowered, powering this torch, powering this piston, which will push it back, okay? Um, and the delay depends on how many items we have in this thing. It's it's very simple, straightforward. If you want to uh, know how to build one of these, I'd, su I'd suggest YouTube Hopper Clock, okay? If you didn't follow there, how they are done. They're very useful. I use them for a lot of things in my single-player world as well. Um, anyway, any way... Uh, what was I gonna say? Yes, I was gonna say a thing. The I'm working on the walls here, and I want to show you from the outside. Hello, Skellington. Don't you think I see you over there? I've lost all my stuff since the last episode, by the way, except for my wings. 
Oh, I didn't have my wings in the last episode. No, 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 no. Look at us. We're, we're flying now for those of you who missed the stream. So just before the stream was about to start, a few guys said that they was going to kill the dragon. They all had wings already. So I joined in, you know, I joined in. And I said, I'll be Viking tactics. I'll be collecting the loot and not so much fighting. <laughs> and I collected the wings. Um, so now we got them and I, I put mending and I'm breaking on them. And it's so much fun to fly around with Elytra. I did it a lot in the stream. Uh, I'm going to do it more in my single player. I just got them there as well. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> I've been working a little bit on the outside here. I've been bringing this out. So you can see on the side here, it's coming out now. And if we take a look at that, it makes it look very like majestic. Just that change that I have them out on the sides, doesn't it? You saw the eye move. Hi. Um, Makes it look very majestic, and I really like that. I think it looks gorgeous. Um, and that also gives us a little bit wall room to play around with the wall here. So what I'm doing at the moment is I'm trying to come up with a cool wall design. You see, we, we now got a space of two here, where before... Can I put a torch down? Boop. Before, this wall was next to the fish tank, which made it impossible to kind of play around with. So what I'm trying to do is, I want to add some interest to this wall. I may go, I added this blue line here, and I quite like it, gotta say. Um, oh, people were saying remove these, by the way, so we're going to do that, I agree. Keep the glass panes that are cornered, like this, a comment said, but remove the straight ones. And I agree, let's just do that while I remember it, okay? My inventory is a mess, so I won't be able to pick them up. That's fine, it's just sand. Um... But, let's see if we can quickly come up with a pattern here. It's going to be a bit tricky because this fish tank is here, but I'm, I'm kind of feeling columns. I did this there. That's pretty cool looking. Maybe we do something like this. Boop, boop. And that's an uneven number. I was going to put a... Hmm, you know what we can do though? Let's raise this up. Let's raise that up and then we'll place an underside block at the top, okay? I kind of want to have... No, that looks awful. <laughs> That's terrible. Let's take that down. Hi. Boom. You be gone, okay? Maybe we need to place... Hmm. It's a little bit tricky, okay? It's a little bit tricky, I will not lie. I just want to make sure that we have some sort of lighting, I suppose, though. We're going to come with a sea lantern there. I don't know why I haven't placed that. Must have missed it. And maybe that's enough for lighting. Oh, we have the torch there as well. Okay, so no. <laughs> no, that's not enough for lighting. This doesn't actually work. They block by the slab. Um, but if we place a sea lantern over here, and then go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven gap. Could that be cool? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boom, boom. Maybe. That doesn't align up with the fish tanks, though, which is bothering me. Maybe we can do this. Maybe we can trick the eye. Hold on. My shovel got t silk touch, by the way. That's why I use it to, to break things. Uh, but let's try this. We'll put the sea lantern behind there. Okay. Put this thing back. Doot. Like a so. And then maybe we could go with... So this will be stone. Stupid clay! I need to remove. While I do this, I should say... I asked on Twitter the other day... Because I got very inspired. This girl got very inspired from doing the, the stream. Uh, I've, I've never really been much into the whole streaming thing sides of things. I've al always liked, you know... The YouTubing and, and I have issues like sitting down playing Minecraft for hours and hours in a, in, a, in a row. I usually play a little bit, then I take a break, do some other stuff, and then I come back at it. And that works well when you do YouTube videos. That works. Um, but a lot of people have, have wanted me to start streaming. And I got really inspired during that stream. So I'm thinking, maybe I should stream. Maybe I can stream once a week, you know? Um... And I asked on Twitter, and a lot of people said, Iskal, I would watch you do anything. One guy even suggested that I should just pet my dogs, and he would watch it. So, I suppose that's a good thing. So, we may be starting to stream, and not just Hermitcraft, but, but all series, like My Island. There'll be uh, my modded series as well, Survival Stories. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment, though, in case you don't follow me on Twitter. I'd like to hear it, okay? I think that looks decent. It's, it's still... Still not too impressive. We can't block this is the problem because we need the light. But maybe we could... Hmm. I don't know. We need some kind of wall wall thing going on here, I feel. I'm going to play around with that a little bit. 
Um, while I do though, ladies and gentlemen, I was earlier in a meeting, in a business meeting with our new business partner, who's going to be powering more or less this uh, shop, Xuma Void. He's doing the Guardian Farm and he's going to be supplying us with the goods that we are going to sell. And I needed to get my my facts straight around profit gain and all that kind of stuff. So we had a meeting earlier and I think I'm going to include that in the video I write a now and I do some work on this wall in the meantime. All right. <laughs> I have no idea what to say. <laughs> I got you. You got me a scow. There we go. Yeah. Now, now we're talking. Mm -hmm. So my so boy, we, we, we be here to, to discuss two very important things. Yeah. One, What's the first thing? The, the first thing is your cape. Oh, yes, you remembered. Yes. Uh, oh, wow, I got me a lighter on. Check it out. You wanted to know where I got this from. Mm -hmm. And so my people can see it. There it is. Uh, yes, yeah, so basically I've got two maps published on realms, right? And the to get a cape, you, need, you used to need to have three. And so I, I tried to get a third one made and it didn't really happen. Anyway, they lowered the bar a little bit, so it was now two maps, and that means that I qualified for one, so I got I got a just out of, you know, nowhere. Got a little message saying You sort of lean forward slightly when you jump up and down with <laughs> Yeah. I think that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see that. Can I can you see it in F five? Like Yeah. Oh, I don't feel on. like I see I it on it myself. You, you, have you to got it. You... Oh, oh there you go, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it makes you glitch out. Uh yeah, I got a cape, basically. I got a message saying, you've now got a cape, so my lateral wings look slightly different. Congratulations. You got a cape too, though. I got my cape. Minecon attendance, but I was thinking, because you, you haven't attended Minecon, have you? I haven't been to a Minecon, no. No. So I got the Minecon cape. But, um, yeah, no, I think it's looking pretty good. It looks almost like the Hermitcraft stream torch from, from the other day's stream on, the, on your back. Because of the yellow bit. That's like yeah. the top of the torch. It does, doesn't it? It's got a little bit of that going on. Where yeah. is that banner? Did it make it all the way to Cub was last, wasn't he? Yeah, I hope it did. I know I, I was I was in Rendog's one and I know that he had it, so But That's you never true. know with Rendog, you know, he could have died and lost it, let's be honest. That's true. He's yeah. died several times in the last twenty four hours. <laughs> yeah. And lost all the stuff. <laughs> yeah. But he got wings yesterday. Oh my That's goodness, true. he has yeah. wings. Um, so yeah, second question. Obviously, do you see do you see the gorgeousness coming coming up in front of you? I do, I do. And uh, I was looking at this the other day in my video. I didn't know what the redstone was for, but it's for the eye, right? The eye yeah. shifts back and forth. Yeah. That's a lot. A lot of viewers were were suggesting we do the Cleo eye thing, so I did. And you know, it, it, pretty cool effect. That little there it goes, that little on move camera. there. Yeah. It's a quick one now. I gotta I gotta slow it down though, probably. Yeah. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> I this shop came about. You, I don't know how much you know about me and taste, but I don't like this block type at all. Think it's pretty bad. I know, but yet you're building an amazing building with it. So I think you know what you're doing when it comes to this <laughs> block. <laughs> Honestly, though, this is the first time I'm out of my comfort zone using this block. And I thought I, I thought about this a lot. You know how much I delayed building this thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it took uh, a while, but that's all right. I'm, I'm still building the farm. Um, that was just because I needed to sketch out something that I was happy with. But I, I think the block can really work as like a background block. And, uh, oh, yeah, and, it's know. secondary, isn't it? It's a secondary color. Because it's, it's such... the accent, so to speak. Exactly. It's so strong. Anyway, what is the deal, my friend? What are we actually doing? The only thing I know so far is, Hey, Iskal, how are you doing? Build a guardian shop and I shall provide selling materials. Yes, that's right. However... Uh, as part of the deal that we have, you, you should you should come over to my base and pick up all the things and craft them, right? Because I'm lazy. Is that okay? Absolutely. We may ha hire a third person for this. That could be the delivery man. We'll <laughs> yeah, see. We hire a yeah, yeah, delivery man. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, yeah. brilliant. <laughs> oh. oh, it's called down some work. It's called down some work. It's called down some work. My dog is barking in the background. Hi. So now that we have the business settlement done, I have, in a very convenient same time, come up with something that I'm very happy with for the, for, the, for, the, for the walls here. Something that I think makes them interesting. And I'm building it right now as we speak. I've been at this back and forth, back and forth for a while. 
and I couldn't get it right. <clears throat> and then, as I just continued, I did something that I really liked. So check this out. Go like that, go like this, boop, a boop, and then... Yes, this is how we do it. We come out to the side, boom, stairs, boom, stairs, okay? Uh, come down to the bottom and we run things. <laughs> Cobblestone walls all the way down. Underneath here, we're gonna change this out for Dark Prismarine, but we out! We out, bro! We out of the inks. The Inca sacks. Look at this now. Let's punch you away and change you out for an underside. Boop. Okay. Check that out! Is that right? Did I get it right? Done a few more. Aha! Uh -huh. I think this is looking really good for a wall design. These were supposed to be some advanced lamps, but they look kind of like some, some statues of some sort. We're using the orange in here, which I really like. I think the orange complements the cyan so freaking well, okay? It's a really, really good color combination. Um, it's kind of been eating, been eating some nuts uh, as I've been doing this, so I got a little bit of burpiness now coming up for some reason I didn't think I would with the nuts in my mouth. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> that business settlement that you just saw with Sumavoid is great for us. Basically, he's taken 50%, but what he doesn't realize is that he is getting it all for us. We only we get we get the possibility to build a beautiful building. That's 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 our job and and I can dig you know um, As long as I don't have to dig out a, um, An ocean monument which We don't have to because he's doing that. So I think we're sitting pretty good We're sitting good with the whole business arrangement Xuma void is turning into some kind of mobster here on the server owning any every business um, Which you know, I'm, I'm I'm cool with that as long as I can be part of the <clears throat> diamond collection somehow i'm i'm fine with that um but let's take a look at this now okay we're gonna make some more of these because otherwise i'll go cray cray i, I want to show you another big thing that was very important or that is very important here that i had done wrong okay very noobish mistake of me with my texture mixing all right it's, it's lifting this whole build boop i've done a little bit of changes here as well i've done uh, Change, change this up a little bit. I'm still working on, on this area, trying to make that look good. Um, this doesn't include any design of the outside, but take a look at them statues. Come on now. Oh yeah, and then we go in the floor here. We punch this away and we uh, connect up the room. Because this was a big, big room from the beginning, remember? Yeah? Big flat room, and now what we've done is that we've divided it into sections. And... People say this is for the aesthetics. I disagree. It's not for the aesthetics. It's for the marketing. <laughs> we want people to, to buy stuff. We want them to be inspired as they walk in. There's something wrong here. That These guys have weird ears. Okay. Did I do it? Oh, I did it like that. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we gotta, we gotta go change that. But anyway, what's the big thing that I did? It's a small thing that has a big impact, okay? So, we had a mixture in the walls of cobblestone and, or sorry, of smooth uh, stone and brick, right? You saw it in the last cutscene, we had, ouch, hello, ooh, Escal is dodging, come on bro, what do you want from me? Oh, dang it, <laughs> he won that fight in one way. Um, yeah, we had the old, old texture, we had brick and smooth stone in the wall. Now, here's what I've done. I have removed the idea. Oh, here, here's, you can see, you can see how we did. I've removed the idea of mixing the two together. Okay? And instead, let me just finish this so I can show you. I understand that it's a little bit annoying to not see what I'm saying right now. There we go. I'll pick these up because I'm gonna need them. Hi, Creeper. Don't you dare to blow up my statue lamps! Nor my fish tank. Good boy. Okay, <clears throat> with the background now, the predominant block is going to be smooth stone, and almost only smooth stone, and it may look a little bit plain, but I heard you, I heard you, idiot, headshot. Um, by doing this, and by having brick in the foreground, we are lifting this thing so much, 
So I think we're sitting good with that. I think we, we may incorporate something in the middle there. We may do a little bit of something. Um, but for now, that's a big change for us. Because you can see, these pop so much more than if we would have had a, a complete mix. You'll see still that I do a little bit of the mix. So we have a smooth stone there, we have a brick there, and another brick there. But the dominant block is definitely the smooth stone. Uh, and I'm, I'm doing the same here. I've changed up this side so far. Going to change up this. We may actually go here, here, punch that away and do like a so. Um, but that's what we're sitting with right now, okay? Uh, next thing we got to do here, and I want to do a little bit more on this. I was planning we should go back to my base as well, but we don't, we're not going to have time for that today. So we'll just do that in the next episode. We've been pranked in the stream, okay? Um, pretty cool pranks. I've seen them. But uh, I want to show them to you and, and kind of deal with them. We, we was pranked by both Scar and Rendog. Um, but we'll have, to, we'll have to, as I said, we'll have to deal with that in the next episode. Because we, we be too busy, baby. Okay? We be too busy. We have too much things to do here. And I really want to push to finish on this build. I want to start earning some diamonds. Um, and, yeah. That's, that's basically what I want to do. Um... One thing that's going to be really tough now is how do we put a ceiling on this thing? And what, what's it going to be? There were some good suggestions in the comments. Uh, sorry, in the chat from the stream. Um, Ugly Doll, I believe it was, suggested that we need to... And hopefully I remembered his name because he was very, very consistent or very uh, persistent in that I, I mentioned him. Which absolutely I'll do as long as I can remember. And it's because memory bad. Okay? <laughs> um... But he suggested that we do a big guardian fish in the front. And there was other suggestions saying that we should do a big lantern thing. Um, of all of those suggestions, there was some really good stuff. And I'm not sure what we're going to do yet, okay? What I do know is that I kind of want to try and arc the ceiling right here. And then, if possible, for a background, I, I want to try and use this stuff. So if we place a little bit down, like as so... And then we come out with a with a bar like this. Let's just bring it out a little bit here. If the prismarine doesn't work here, we'll just go smooth stone. And I'm sure that's going to look okay. Um, Alright. Ooh. That, that there was wrong. Good that we spotted that. We'll do this, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That's a pretty cool ceiling. That's a pretty cool ceiling. We bring it out from these. They, they turn... They, they go a little bit away from the whole looking like guardian statues into something else. But I think that could work. Interesting. Yeah, baby. Come on now. We're onto something here. Just come down to make some stairs. And that's the first time I see um, that thing from the down low. From the down low. Hello. From the downside. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm looking for. Um, pretty interesting design indeed. And this is a very dark ceiling, which means that we can do some lantern stuff. Also, you know what? For those of you who are following all my Vanilla Siri episode, you know how we do. We play a lot with lighting. We play a lot with half slab. We trick the half slab lighting. And I think we can do something here. Um, <laughs> I put torches down here. I think, is that, is that, is that affected? Maybe I'm wrong here. Maybe not. If you put light behind a half block, let's just do this. Boop. This is how we come down, by the way. Oops, no. That's right. And then boop. And we plop this there. Boom. Like as oh. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, you see this lighting, lightning line that goes around there. We did it in the mine, by the way, on Hermitcraft, so you probably have seen it. We can do that, and that adds a kind of cool effect as well. Um, maybe we even go with some glass stripes in the middle, and we hide some, um, some dark prismarine behind, maybe? I really like the ceiling design. It's not bad. It's not bad. Oh, it's did the roof. It's did the ceiling. And check it out. Wow. The effect is glorious. It's raining, mind you. It's raining outside. The sky is all foggy and, and bad. Uh, but this is just... Oh, baby. This ceiling... Uh, it may look a little bit flat. Okay, we, we maybe, we maybe want to do something here and here. But 
just the light <laughs> differences, just the fact that these blocks change as color. They go blue, they go purple, they go green. Um, it makes it a very, very interesting thing as you come inside like a zoo. And uh, I gotta say, I gotta say, sometimes, sometimes I just get very happy when things are finished. I, it's been a very good day today. It's been a very good day. I've been spent, look, look, they changed. They changed, they are changed to purple. It's been a very good day. Spent a lot of time going back and forth with different tests. Um, and I'm getting pretty happy. I'm getting pretty excited. There are many things that I still want to do with this build and I was looking at the time of the video and we are running short on time and I hate it! I want to have more time today. I wanted to kind of, in a way, get this thing finished today. Um, carpet. Should we do this? Should we go up and down or should we just keep it? This is a very straight carpet. But this is a trick you can do to make it more bulk or bubbly or whatever that's called. But I don't know, man. I don't know if that works in this setting. I don't know if it's um, maybe throwing it too much. Um, ooh. Ooh. Iskal did not know that. That's interesting. So if you have dirt underneath the carpet, it's going to sound like dirt. Uh-huh. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool finding. Okay, anyway. Um... Let's just do this for now. I think maybe we, we keep it straight like so. Um, now that I walk into this building, I see a lot of things. Here's one thing. Maybe we should go and do this at the entrance. I don't know. I don't know what you say. Maybe that's a good thing. Let's bring that all the way up. Let's see how it looks. Um, I also see that <clears throat> this wall here, as I said, ugly doll suggested during a stream that we should have a massive guardian face there. I don't know if we need to, honestly. We have this guardian kind of imitation here. We're going to have guardians on the side and on the front. Um, I'm kind of feeling a big aquarium up here. And this is something that I sit here and I'm so bummed that we're kind of out of time today because I really want to do it. I really want to do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> I really want to do it. Um... I'm just, you know, let's let's just quickly, okay? All right, quickly. I'm sorry, I get a few comments, very, very few, saying your episodes are too long, Iskal. We get bored, we can't watch them all, we don't have time. Very few comments saying that, but I get a few, and that's, you know, an episode shouldn't be too long. Um, but let's just consider something here, okay? Let's say we have something that comes out like so, okay? It goes here as well. All right? And then, ooh, we go glass panes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. We go glass panes. All right. Okay, we ready? Uh-huh. Okay, looking pretty, looking pretty weird because we don't have a background. But we would go and we would do structural things here. We'll do something like that there. And, oh, shoot. I left the crafting table up there. Okay, we'll do it on that side as well, obviously. Um... Look at how that breaks. Ooh, I measured high symmetry. Uh, full symmetry. I messed it up. Oh, gee, something's wrong with the build. Uh oh. Whoa. -oh. What have I done? That should really end there. I must have messed up something here with the roof. Oh, yeah, I see. Okay, that needs to come out. Cool. No, 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 no. These need to come in. Okay. That's all right. Uh, uh, notice how it kind of wraps over these bottom aquariums, which I really like. Now, consider the following. Consider we spend, we go over time a little bit today, okay? I want to see what happens if we kind of try and decorate this as an aquarium, as a terrarium, if you will. I don't know if it's possible. I don't know if it's going to look good, but I'm going to try it. Yep, yeah, I'm going to try it, baby. Do we have bones here? We have bones. My little work uh, area over here. I don't think I want those. Um, the only problem, I think we can't plant sand on top of... Um, oh, I'm going to need some iron as well because I need to collect this grass. We can't plant sand. We can't <laughs> We can't plant, plant grass on top of, of sand. Um, so we may have to go with, with, with regular grass inside there. But that could look cool. Um, kind of like a little terrarium thing is what I'm thinking. Come on now, ladies and gentlemen, look at that! 
Oh, I'm glad I spent that extra, extra minutes on creating that in today's episode. And I also filled in the back wall here. Oh, baby! Come on now, this is gorgeous. I'm really starting to like this. I'm we, way more prismarine stuff than I was planning. And it may be a little bit too much on this wall. We'll see what you say, but I think it gives for a it makes for a great highlight. And now you can clearly see what we were talking about earlier. The effect, oops, high. Um dang it. Okay. This is a little bit of a bug. If you're interested in how you can use that to your advantage that, that you just saw there, you can go and watch uh Cup Fans video on uh, things you may not know in Minecraft. That's in there. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Anyway, I think we are sitting very, very, very good. We have a few things still to, to, to consider here. Uh, I want to work on the inside even more. I want to uh, maybe use some banners um, for de decorating certain stuff. I want to make the shop area, <laughs> which is this little part, very uh, or fully functional. Uh, we still got to you know, figure out where to place the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, boop, 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 the sea lanterns. We got to figure out where to place the sea lanterns. And yeah, there's a bunch of stuff left, but I think we got the interior to a very, very good stage at the moment. And I really like that aquarium thing or terrarium or whatever it is. Um, but this video is getting very long, by the way, from the outside, this building is looking horrendous, very, very bad terrible at the moment um so we got work to do there as well um maybe we do a back-to-back -back hermitcraft episode would you guys like to see that because i kind of want to continue to play here immediately i just want to see what you guys say and then uh continue from there anyway thank you guys so much for watching thank you for all your love and support write something nice down in the comment field why don't you and if you enjoyed the video press the like a button if you're new here i think you should subscribe um that's going to be it for today. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next episode.